Hello everybody, Frankie Day here for Frankie Day Models. Okay fellas, uh, for this rainy morning before I go to work, I'm going to make a video number two uh, for my paper card model build of the, uh, the Hamburg American Lines, the SS Prisia, era 1872. Okay fellas, uh, I got a lot done in this thing. I'll be hop on the victory next, get that going. I got some things I'll be shaking right now. They're calling on me for a long time, and I'll probably be doing it three or four at a time. But anyway, the main subject for this morning, fellas, is uh is the SS Prisia. The Hamburg American Lines. Okay, uh as uh from the last last video that I made, <coughs> these were unusual ships, they're immigrant ships. These ships were designed for the immigrant in mind to get from the old world to the new world. And uh, these were actually were the granddaddy of the uh, Transatlantic liners. And you had White Star, you had Cunard lines, and you had a bunch of other steamship lines that were, uh, you had Red Star sheep, uh, st uh, steamship lines. You had all these steamship lines that always, always had open-minded for for uh, newer vessels they could be making and uh, and yeah uh, and uh, matter of fact this vessel here inspired White Star to have a fleet of the, of the Oceanic class uh, they were the first of the White Star liners they were pretty much like this but a little different they were the superstructure is more more of a superstructure than, than just a than just a, a, a little bit of a superstructure for the uh, for the engineering and the bridge arrangement but these they're getting away from uh, wooden hulls. These are all steel hulls and, and a coal-fired boiler system that offered a screw system. Uh, ships like this at that time were uh, were sail and steam, and and the uh, the travelers who embarked on these things. What much better could be for insurance to get to where you want to go? They say, well, if we're out of coal, we can always go sail. That's the general idea. But they got away from sail by 1901, 1902. They started building better, better uh, ocean liners they were building. And uh, they were start uh, a lot of steamship lines. They were building a lot more for the, at a competitive rate, that is. They were building a lot more ships of this type of class. Anyway, this ship was uh, launched 1870. And uh, she was scrapped in 1901. She was bought in Italy, and she was transformed over to as a as a coal hulk, and that is very over too well. So, with much more coming this way, this thing was ancient. This thing's almost 30 years old. So they scrapped it. And there's not much on this ship. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stuff on this thing, you know. On the internet, I went, did some research on there, and I found a lot of things on it. This is out of tape, out of paper. Nothing else but paper on the sink. And uh, building these ships or building paper is a whole different world opposed to building plastic, which is behind me. And uh, they and uh, they have their own form of construction. Okay, we're going to come over and take a look at the SS Prisia before I go to work and everything. And I made a video last night. It was a disaster. I should never have posted the darn thing. There's too much interruptions going on and stuff, you know, and I just say, do it in the morning. So, I'm doing it right now. And right now, we're going to take a swing over here and take a look at the SS Prisia over here. As you can see... It's from the transatlantic lines, all paper. I got a lot more work to do on it. I got the mast to do on it. I got uh, boats I got to put on it. I got to finish up the mooring bits. And I got to make some, uh, a whole series of, of uh, deck, deck uh, pad eyes where I hook up my rigging to it. So the rigging of this thing is going to be awful fun, huh? I went down there to Hobby Lobby. I thought I had some dowling. Inside my bunk room, it's in storage. I didn't get any, so on my way home from work, I picked up a bunch of dowling. 
these are about one eighth inch diameter dowels. You could chuck them up to a lathe or chuck them up to a drill and just kind of go back and forth with sandpaper or a file, make sure you don't snap it. And you can take one of these things off. That's what you used on here, on the mast. And, uh, and I gotta make the yard arm the same way. So that's what I got going. And I've been toying around with this too. This is the uh, a card model of the SP2U Vindicator. There's a movie on it with Fred McMurray, Ralph Bellamy, Errol Flynn, and a host of other Hollywood actors at the time, and in the year 1940. Now, anybody who's watched that movie will agree with me 100%. This airplane was the star of the whole movie. Now, Errol Flynn was flying it all the time, and uh, they were dive bombing on these things, and and had the most beautiful footage of, of pre-war aviation that I've ever seen in movies. I mean, I'm going to tell you guys, they had everything there. They had the SP2, they had SPC Hell Divers. Uh, they had TBD Devastators. They had F2A Buffaloes. And they had the SPU, SP2U Vindicators as right, right here. And uh, so I'm going to be working on that. And uh, it's, it's going to be a dandy of a build when I get done with it. So I'll be working alongside with this one here. I've been making a build bed on this on papermodeler.com. And uh, my username is Decade, so be sure to go there, www.papermodelers.com. And you'll see my work there. You'll see this ship being built there. Because I'm going working back on forms and stuff. Okay, we'll take a look at this thing more besides. I show you can do with paper, guys. Paper. This is a very good source of building, you know. I got that. Got the anchor hanging out there. I wear this thing with pastels. A lot of people say, wow, that water iron looks awful scruffy, Frank. I says, nope. It's the natural state of its environment. When you're out in the salt water for, for a lot of years, and I am wondering, yeah. A lot of card models, you can download them on the internet, guys. If you have a printer friendly, you can always download them on the internet. Take it down to Office Max, I'm sure burn a CD off of it and off your files. Take it down to Office Max or Kinko's and have them blow them up for you. Using 17 by uh, 11 60 pound card stock, which I built this thing out. I gotta make the mast up higher. I already got the first. Uh, I got the first of the mast on there already, as you can tell. The rigging's gonna be fun in this thing. So I probably use mon 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 uh, monofilm, what you call it. I got a bunch of my old blue jacket kits I got that I can use, which makes excellent rigging material.
these can make a transatlantic crossing from the uh, United Kingdom, no world, to America within 12 days. A lot of early travelers before these were were uh, came to realization actually came came uh, came to view. There were a lot of passengers want to get to America. They traveled on clipper ships like the Flying Cloud, the Challenge, the Cuddy Sark, uh, Young America. The Comet, the Rainbow, all these famous clipper ships that were used during the, the, the merchantman trade back in them days. A lot of people booked passage on those. And it took months and months and months on end to get to, to America. A lot of them were half beat to death. And even, some people even died on these things. Not in this ship, but on the clippers. But it took so long getting, getting there and things. But with progress they had, it's all steam screws driven by coal fire. They can make a 12-day 12, a 12 crossing, which ain't bad at all. And the interior of this thing is very luxurious, too. I've seen the interior to it also on the, on the uh, internet. So there's to offer there. So they ain't much rough much material on this thing, guys, other than just the ship itself in the distance. But... But it's uh, one of the uh, forgotten ships of the time that's not often modeled. A lot of people have never seen them, a lot of people have. Okay, we're going to take this camera out and swing it on yours truly here and finish up the video. Okay, that was pretty successful today, this video. So uh, that'll be it for video number two. So I should video number three. I should have the mast all done, the yards on it, all the bits and boats will be on it by then. And all that's left is the rigging. That's going to be fun. So sadly, I should have a pretty good update video on this. I have another video on my on the uh, Victory. I'll have that probably by Friday, maybe. And I'll be farting around with that SP2U paper model of the, uh, the Vindicator dive bomber. And I got a lot of other stuff, too, coming your way. I'll probably be shaking on this one too. I'll be working on this battleship California at one two hundred scale. About eight thousand parts of this. A lot of stuff in there, guys. I mean a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. The car kit's been calling on me for a while. And uh, so I'll probably be working on that too. And here's one I really be working on. I got this out of my storage the other day. My Uncle Mac got, died on this thing during Pearl Harbor. This is the battleship USS Oklahoma. Again, scale 1 200. When this thing is done, it'll be about the size of the Trumpeter 1-200 scale uh, Arizona. Because the, uh, the Nevada class and the Pennsylvania class battleships, they were made by 1918, 1917. And they're virtually, the dimensions are pretty much the same, 624 feet. And what comes so good about this kit, it's going to save me a lot of time, is all is, is this pre-cut, actually laser cut, former cardboard formers that'll save me a lot of money in buying cardstock cutting all these pieces out sanding and fit the shape make sure the parts whole fit everything's done for you right here it makes life very easy so I'm gonna be farting around with this too I got a lot of stuff going anyway guys and uh, and I fear that we're gonna have another shutdown well this virus is getting really out of hand getting crazy a lot of people are dying from it. I've already lost three good friends of mine already because of it already. One of them is a band member. The other two are just uh, friends. And uh, it depends on the individual how it attacks. It's more or less if you have underlying health issues or very, very old and frail, that's what, that's, that's what really nails you right there. 
like Bud Wells was a, he's a pastor at church and he always liked to sing with us in the band and uh, we have gospel hour once in a while we play a little gospel he likes to sing the gospel music there's nothing wrong with that it's beautiful music uh, he was 93 years old he passed with, well killed him was 93 years old even we had a flu to kill him plus he had heart surgery done in the past so he wasn't very very healthy that's what nailed him and uh, a lot of people don't have no immunities because they've never been, had no shots in their life. And um, mostly are for these kids nowadays, they catch it and they're actually virtually their carriers. And they give it to the parents and the parents give it to the people. As like I say, this stuff spreads like a wildfire. It's like the Black Plague, it's spreading quicker than I thought. And uh, so you got to be careful out there, guys. Okay. This is Frankie Day signing up for Frankie Day Models. Make Mama happy. Have a very, very safe, 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 joyous Thanksgiving. This be my first Thanksgiving inside this here uh, trailer here. Next year I'll be living in a house. I got a couple of houses I'm looking. I got my I'm eyeballing on. I might be going there before next year. I'm negotiating right now. Guy wants to sell me the house, and I don't know. I don't want to buy no house. I just lost my house. It was a dude, no other element of domain that forced me out. What forced me out was progress, and I wasn't alone. So when you got progress coming your way, you're done. And uh, That'll be it. That's all I can think right now to do. So stay, stay, so stay posted, God, fellas. This Saturday, I'll have the, uh, I'll have the video number three on the, uh, on the Fisia, and uh, we'll get it all wrapped up by next week. Be all done. And meanwhile, I'll be working on the Victory, and I'll be working on that uh, Vindicator for my dive bomber. Okay, make Mama happy. Take care of the little ones. Take care of yourselves. Spend wisely. Stay focused when you drive. And be careful uh, and uh, keep a mask on. Be aware of your surroundings. Have a very safe Thanksgiving. And God bless you all. And thank you very much. This is Frankie Day signing off for Frankie Day Models. I love you guys. You guys take care, fellas. And God bless you all.